Today I actually have a Amazon customer return liquidation box. One huge 37 pound mystery box from a brand new online company I've never bought from before. Um, this is not manifested. I have no idea what's in this. I mean, no clue. There was no hints of electronics or home goods. Because even if you get a pal that's not manifested, a lot of times they'll say, you know, it's toys or it's health and beauty. But this one is just mystery box. And it was, it's from a company that I've been told about a few times from a few people. I honestly don't want to name drop this company yet just in case, uh, you know, anything goes bad about this box. Um, if this is just a total ripoff, I mean, if the value is horrible on this thing, at the end of this video, I'll name drop where I got it from. But I just don't want to. I just don't want to advertise the company's name yet this time because I have no idea if they're even legit or not. I don't know. But this was two hundred dollars shipped. Two hundred dollars shipped, and this box is oh, it's probably. Well, let's find out. This box is twenty two by 18 by 12. 22 by 18 by 12 size box. So I mean, it's pretty big, 37 pounds. So $200, uh, they didn't really guarantee any kind of value back. So I don't know. I'm just trying out a new kind of a mystery box full of Amazon customer returns. I thought it might be fun. So let's see if I actually lose money or not on this box. <laughs> let's find out. You want to do this? Let's actually, I'll open it up right here, like in front of the camera, then I'll drop it down to my side so I can actually kind of dig through a little bit. Yeah, I don't really buy from a whole lot of random companies, but sometimes it's kind of fun just to dabble and just try somebody new, because you never know. Um... Okay, this does not look good. <laughs> Honestly, the 200 bucks, this does not look good. Even smells, it has a very strange odor to it when I open it up. For 200 bucks, there better be something hidden in this thing that's like awesome. There better be something in this thing that's like freaking awesome because I don't see any value in this box. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's start digging. Okay, right here on top. This takes up, yeah, this thing takes up literally like a quarter of the entire box. This light fixture. It's just, it is, it is Amazon customer return light fixture. Um, model is 1803EW-F1. Yeah, this is not going to be anything of much value. That takes up a huge chunk of the box. Huge. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just, I'm just gonna estimate value on this stuff. Like that thing, I'm gonna sell it locally. Okay. I'm gonna sell it locally. Um, not Amazon. Where's my calculator at? Calculator, honestly, something like that, honestly, I'll be lucky to get five bucks for it locally. Throw in like, I might even throw it in, in, in like a garage sale I have. Try to get like five bucks out of it. That's, that, that's, that has no value to it. That's blah. This right on top, let me pull these out. We have two boxes of medium gloves. Size medium gloves, 100 gloves. I know you can buy new gloves on Amazon right now, like 100 gloves for like $15 shipped from Amazon. I know these are restricted on eBay still, unless you're approved. So like I'll I'll try to get like ten bucks a box locally. I'll try. So let's say that that's about twenty bucks right there. They're both factory sealed still, so that's nice. But okay, <laughs> let's keep going. What is this? We have four like tins in this. This is Gethers Pastillus for throat and voice. So it's just, 
it's cough drops. It's a four pack of cough drops by this, this company, this brand. Okay. I'm gonna look up the Amazon, uh, this Amazon app. There's so much things sells for on Amazon. Hopefully it's like <laughs> more than a couple bucks. So on Amazon, these sell for 12 bucks a piece. Let me check eBay. There's been a few that sold for like $14 shipped. Here's somebody that sold a four pack for $60. It's so actually, this actually might go for like 50 bucks plus shipping. So that's actually, <laughs> these throat lozenges is actually, it's a decent item right there. Kind of funny, but I can list this probably about 50 bucks plus shipping on eBay and it actually, it might sell because we're coming into like cold and flu season. So I actually might get like 50 bucks for it. Okay, we're not. Sending for dollars right now. Let's see what we got. We have Avocare Spark Energy Vitamin Amino Acid Supplement. Watch, it's probably not factory sealed. It's probably wide open. Of course it is. It stinks. That's wide open. You can't sell that. Nobody's going to buy it because, you know, it's, it's open supplement. It's just trash. That's, what is this? We have a mosquito magnet. Okay, it's in the box. The box is thrashed. I guess you hang this thing up and it attracts mosquitoes and I'm guessing it zaps it or something. Let's actually look this up on eBay. So actually this cord sells for pretty good money. This is the uh, mosquito magnet 12 volts power adapter. eBay, it sells for use condition. 45, 50, 41, 40, 46, 52, 50, 50, 43, 50. This sells on eBay quite a bit for like 50 bucks for this power adapter. That's actually a decent item for uh, eBay. Okay, I'm surprised. That's actually a decent item. The packaging, I mean, the packaging is like, it's just, it just thrashed. The packaging's thrashed. But, that's like 50 bucks right there. A lot of people are selling for 50 bucks with no packaging, just, just the cord. Okay, keep cruising. We have, oh, we have a water pick. Water picks sell really well, actually. These do move. These sell. Looks like the water pick is in there. Has it, doesn't even look used. Let's see what it sells for on eBay, used. So here is like open box item for this model number SF-02. It sells for like 70, 79, 70, 84, uh, 69. That's like in this condition as it sits, that's like 70 bucks. Okay. Okay. We're actually doing pretty good with this box. 70. This almost puts us back what I pay for this box. We still got some more stuff left. We're, we're, we're not done yet. We have a Lena. There we go. That's kind of nifty looking. A Lena Salon Dispenser Genie Curl. In the package. And Health and Beauty stuff actually sells pretty well usually. I don't know much about health and beauty. My wife could probably tell you right now if she was in this video how much this thing sells for. I have no clue. There you go. Open box item, pre-owned condition. I'm seeing 40, 40, 45, 31, 44, 24, 35, 38, 35. I'm seeing quite a few <clears throat> between like what, 25 and 40 something. We'll do like 35 bucks in this in used open box condition. So right now we're in potential profit, okay? We still got some coming up is electronics too. So we actually might, this actually might not be that bad after all. We have Elecom. Looks like a gaming mouse. I think I've sold this brand before. It's in there. That actually it might be a decent item again. It's all in, it looks like Japanese or Chinese. I'm not, oh, made in China, so that's all in Chinese then. So I can't read any of it. I'm looking on eBay, open box item. This is the Elecom Huge Wireless Trackball. 
right model okay so i'm seeing pre-owned condition i'm seeing 36 37 40 this is in used pre-owned condition 48 and i'm seeing 44 50 34 51 uh, let's see 40 30 45 45 48 what is low boss thing about like 40 bucks not bad Chris. i have to make sure it works before i sell it that's like 40 bucks right there okay so that's not bad but keep going we have i Inix supreme dietary supplement nature's answer to daily stress Got a supplement. Oh, it's all like sealed packs. Okay. So it's still sellable then. It can be sold because it's it's all in sealed packages on the inside. So on eBay, I'm seeing like 18 bucks. Open box, not factory sealed. 20 open box. Uh, there's factory sealed, can't do that one. So like, say like even 10 bucks. I'll, I'll lowball it, say 10 bucks still sellable you know people will buy it then we have a VTech phone wow that's that box has seen better days much better days got a VTech phone this one's not super expensive I've sold this thing quite a bit it goes for about 20 bucks plus shipping on eBay a lot of the time I've sold it as high as like 25 but that's about $20 I can, I can quote that we're now we're at about $300 right now got a few things left still we have some kind of I have no idea what this is. It says it's a Gardena. Like a garden hose extension piece. I don't know. Um, let me go ahead, let me search real fast on eBay, because I know we're all kind of interested, right? So this is a Gardena electronic water meter. It's missing this half that goes right here on, on, on the end there. It's missing that half. So I want to count this thing. Oh, here it is. Gardena. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, it's, I think it's missing a little bit of, I could be wrong though, but I actually won't count this in because I'm not too sure if it's all complete or not. All those fails, maybe like five bucks on it or so. Okay, we got a few things left. This thing is heavy. What is this? Furion RV cord set. Some big heavy box. Wow, okay, that's that's big and heavy. What do you use that for? I don't know. Um it's it is used condition. It has some marks on it. I don't know how I mean test this thing. Uh let's look this thing up. Maybe it's worth something. We got like two things left. So this thing sells on eBay. This is the Furion F30R25-SB 25 foot fault smart cord set. It sells new for 70. And then here's a used for 50? Really? Looks like 40 to 50 bucks for this thing. Used condition, possibly. That's not bad. I'll even lowball it, say 40 bucks, just to be on the safe side. Two things left. Both electronics, we have uh, Bluteo, Amazing Life. Bluteo. Let's see, somebody just like taped it shut. We just, we just tape. It's not factory sealed. Because this company, they obviously make these boxes from pallets. So obviously, they know what's in these boxes. They, you know, it's not like a mystery to them. But so far, it's decent value in this. Oh, that looks nice. Bluteo. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Looks to be in fantastic condition. It might have been used like one time or something like that. Some kind of like wireless Bluetooth headset right here. Looks pretty nice actually. Let me get this thing back in the box. Looking on eBay, Bluteo, these aren't the exact same ones, but it's the best I could find quickly. I'm seeing like 30 bucks for these Bluteo A2 Air Bluetooth headphones. So maybe like 30 bucks for these. 
So these are not very expensive. Um, so, like, they're literally like, only like one has sold in the past 60 days, so it's not a highly desired brand then. So, uh, I even go like 20 bucks, go kind of safe on it for 20. Here we go, last item. Say the best for last, hopefully, we have Beats X. Wireless Beats. Nice. It is Beats by Dre, Beats X. It our battery life. It's not very still, just somebody taped it with some masking tape. Let me get that off there carefully. Don't tear the package. Hopefully they're, they're, they're not like nasty used. And they are not. So yeah, we got Beat X, like Bluetooth headphones. I have no idea how much you sell for. These actually might be pretty good. Let's find out. Okay, for some Beats X wireless headphones, like use condition, like 34, 30, 27, 33, 28, 35, 31. So this is about 30 bucks right there. It's so not super expensive, but I mean, it's like $30 or so. So actually, if I add up everything from what I estimated prices for, some stuff I looked up and found out actual prices, but we're looking at actually about $390 in return potential. So I bought the thing for $200 shipped. If I sold, let's say I sold everything for $390. Let's say I sold it all on eBay, okay? And after the eBay fee is about $40, bucks, we are talking about $350. So we're looking at maybe about $150. But then, of course, I got to pay federal and state taxes on that $150, which will be about $35, which leads me to about between $100 and $115 in profit on a $200 investment. So that's actually not bad. It's not huge money. It's not huge money spending $200 and after your your federal and state taxes and eBay fees, we're looking at maybe about $100 to $115 of profit on my investment. So that's not bad, but I mean, you'd have to buy like five to 10 boxes a week to really turn a big profit, you know? I mean, you'll have to buy a lot of these. So I won't drop the name of this company yet. Let me buy another box. Let me see what I get out of this next one. And uh, then I'll kind of have an idea if maybe this company is decent or not, but let me get another, another one of these boxes of 200 bucks. Let me see how well the next one is. Because this, they all could be like this, where you can turn some profit, some might, I don't know. So you, you gotta be careful with new liquidators. Even on my channel, I don't wanna name drop anybody if I'm not too sure about them, because I don't wanna be responsible for somebody spending a lot of money and then losing a lot of money. So I can't have that on my conscience. So. All in all, this actually wasn't bad. It wasn't super profitable, but you do make about, on this box, about 100 bucks a profit after all selling fees and taxes. So not bad, right? Not bad, not bad. So you'll see another one of these hopefully soon, maybe in a few days, maybe next week, but stay tuned. Let's do another one of these.